it's Sarah from All Coin Bus Ladies and today we'll be talking about a topic that loads of people often ask and the question especially is being is crypto actually a bubble and a lot of people are wondering if the whole crypto phenomenon is nothing else but a bubble I'd say it would be a fair question except that these people asking it have been skeptics from the very beginning so they're not really assessing the market on its own right and performance by just singing the same old song and I believe that the current market conditions do not justify the notion of crypto as a bubble and I'll explain to you why. So first I'll start by reviewing a bit of market dynamics and every market Every asset, every currency develops in cycles that repeat over time. Each cycle is comprised of four different stages called phases. And we've got stealth phase, awareness, mania, and blow off phase. It all starts with stealth, as you can see. A new stock, asset, or cryptocurrency hits the market. Nobody knows anything about it, so nobody pays any attention to it or tries to buy it. The price is slow and stays very much the same until the market becomes aware it's there. Hence the name for the following phase. And as the market realizes the new thing exists, it starts to pay attention to it and to buy it. So it takes off. The price rises steadily until it faces its first sell-off. The price drops a little, then something else happens. And the media pays at least attention to this hypothetical coin or suck and it creates enthusiasm in the market and that's when we're in the mania phase enthusiasm turns into greed and delusion and the price skyrockets until it reaches a maximum price and when you are on the top the only way to go is down which is what happens next denial shows its ugly mug nobody can believe that an asset that went so far up could possibly go back down but it does and that is the blow of face it bounces back briefly in a phenomenon known as the bull trap until it's normal again. Then fear takes over the market, it capitulates and the price goes down in the free fall. It reaches a minimal price and then bounces back to stabilize. It becomes price at the average value it had over the journey and it stays there until some new development starts and then the whole cycle starts again, which my face is unfortunately covering. But one of the most basic rules in TA I would say is this, sooner or later, every market will go back to its average price. And the process I just mentioned is very well known among expert investors. It happened to Amazon, Microsoft, or any other company you'd care to mention. It happened to the crypto market as a whole, and it's also happened to each digital asset within the market individually. This is the way of things. This is how prices behave always, and it will happen again. As things stand right now, we're in the blow of face. After last December mania phase, we are headed to hit rock bottom. And that's not a bad thing because that's when the market will bounce back and reach the average level it's had for the last 10 years. And then again, history will repeat itself. So you're asking, why is crypto not a bubble? Because so far it's behaved in the exact same way in which all traditional markets have for centuries since its first stock markets came along in the 17th century. When bubbles burst, industries disappear. Crypto as an industry is not only not disappearing, but it's grown more this year than any other year since its inception. So guys, don't let any haters bring it down. You and I and all of you guys know much better. So if you guys know and agree with me, hit the like button, subscribe to a Combust Ladies. Follow me on Twitter at AllCoinSara. This was a very brief and short video explaining how the market cycles work. And I hope you guys are agreeing with me. If you are, then let me know by following me and subscribing to Token Bus Ladies. If you disagree with me, please let me know why. And if you still think that crypto is a bubble, try and maybe convince me. I never disagree with someone. I'm always open to other people's opinion. So I hope you all enjoyed it and you're going to have a good day. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.